Um, there's branches, lots of branches down. Um, my hay feeder, obviously, always that sucker always gets knocked over. Um, I don't know, quite a bit of rain. I mean, that thing, this thing, and the empty gas can was over there on the other side of that ramp. As you can see now, it's over here. Um, some of the playground stuff, the shelter in the back is completely destroyed. The roof is now on the ground. The sidewall on this side is completely down and the back wall is bent. Um, there is a really humongous branch down back here around the fence. It didn't crush the fence. It's too small to do that, but it's pretty big. Um, I mean, thankfully nobody was under this because nobody was even out yet except Luna, which as you can see, Luna's perfectly fine. Um, again, it knocked, picked up this little pen I had Zeus in and knocked it over, which, I mean, you know, it's good. Zeus is fine. He's okay. He was hiding. I mean, look at this. This is stuck in the fence. Um, he was hiding in his little igloo house, so that saved his butt. I'm just thankful that Luna wasn't in the shelter because that could have went really bad. I mean, you can hear the thunder. It's not even done yet. But, um, yeah, so it knocked that over. There's a huge branch right here. I'm not doing anything yet because... I got the doors open so when they if something bad comes through again they all can run some of the chickens were out but uh, it's because I accidentally left the egg door open when I was working on the coop yesterday trying to get all the roost redone because I have some more chickens going inside and uh, I've got some damage in the garden which I'm not really too upset about because it's only a, um, it's just a sunflower. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, poor sunflower, but it completely broke it at the base of the stalk and it's laying completely down. So I got to get that pulled out today. Um, so yeah, I mean it it broke that thing right in half. But the funny part is is there's no branches in here, so I don't understand how the wind just took one down. I mean look, there's there's several. And then see what happened here? Both of my pepper plants are laying on their side. I don't how is that even possible? That's so weird. So weird. I just don't get it. I really don't get it. God, these are so beautiful. Jesus, look at that. I don't know. I really don't understand how that how that happened. I mean, there's a pole. I even had I had a pole in there. I just stole one of my husband's big poles and I don't know, maybe it's because the ground was so wet and, you know, it just kind of laid itself down with the wind. That's the only thing I can think of. So I got to get that fixed. Nothing over here. All of these guys are fine. Um, these sunflowers here have support because the cucumbers are... Uh, growing into them so they're all supported by the cucumbers and then uh, we've got um, some branches down we've got a tree a really big one back here oh my god this is the worst we've ever seen here 
Wow, thank God my son's okay in his camper. Um, there doesn't look like anything's on his roof, but there are branches everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh, it destroyed this tree. So this is in the back corner of our property. Our property ends, obviously, where the corn, corn is. And all of this is, like, laid down. Like something just dropped here and then moved that way. It goes all the way around. I can't get back there, but I can see it through the trees. It's just amazing. I don't know if this was a microburst or if this was just a wind pattern, but it literally, it goes all the way and then it didn't get the two outside rows here, but it's at the third and fourth rows inside. And it kind of stops laying itself down about right here. So all of this around and then it got here and, and and it's inside it's probably eight or nine rows in and still it's going the same direction just following along the corn here oh that's muddy it just keeps going it's laid down quite a bit I mean not all the way but and then so this is our other tree which this tree is fine and you can see how it laid it's still going and then you come over here to this tree and this branch is down um, this sucker's huge which it came off right up there. Like you can see, it took a huge chunk out of the tree and just dropped that sucker. Took down a couple branches here, you know, thicker ones. And this pine tree here snapped off one of the branches on my apple tree and it also got another one on the back side and look at this i mean it broke this guy's corn like literally it's there's this stuff's not going to come back like these stalks are broken it's just so weird to me i mean this this corn right now is probably at least 12 feet tall at least that and it just keeps going Try to zoom. I guess I can't. Whatever. It just it just keeps going. It just kept traveling into corn. But I can't see like in the middle. I can't see. So I don't know if it's just this path that it took or what. Because I mean I can't see that far in there. I mean I can see. You know, it's quite, a, it's quite a ways in there right now. And then, let me finish with the corn so I can just show you guys. It just got worse right here. I mean, look at this. This stuff is, it's damaged. It's broken. I mean, this, it clean, clean off from the ground. And then I'll go on the road so I can show you. We got nothing here on the road. A little bit of debris, but nothing too bad. I mean, look at this. It's completely like almost flat. And then obviously it traveled because across the road, it's the same way. I hope this wind isn't messing with my voice too much. I don't want to get too far in there because there's a lot of water. 
but it it's laid down quite a bit over here too all the way down until probably about right in here it stopped but yeah that's pretty crazy I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, it was not nice. So now I'll go back to the the other tree that's damaged. So we've got this tree. Now the whole tree's not down. It's this real big one right here. Um, but a nice chunk of it's down on the ground. It looks like these trees saved my son, my son's camper for sure, because this stuff is what's got the brunt of all of it. So it broke a limb here, which is totally random. It's on the inside of these other branches. It broke it. So this one's got to come out. That's the other limb that came from my my good apple tree and then this is what's I mean this camera does not do this thing justice it's enormous I mean look at the look how thick this is as big as my head I mean these are huge this poor tree look at this I mean it's huge it's huge You can't even, I can't really see. There's a branch. So it broke. So it didn't actually break this one here, but this branch here, you can see it. This broke from up top and it's just kinda got a lot of pressure on this one. So it's holding it down. And then another one's over there laying. But, um, see if I can show you where it actually snapped. There's a lot of pressure right now on some of these branches. I wonder if you can see that. So it broke one here, and then there's another spot. Uh, I hope you can see that. It's really hard because it's so high up. It's at least 20, 20 feet in the air. So I broke it in two spots and just laid it, you know, laid it down. And this, what's all this pressure is on all these other smaller branches here. But like I said, whew, I'm just glad nobody was hurt because it really could, it could have killed my dog out here, Luna. And it definitely could have killed my goat, Zeus, um, because he was inside of that enclosure and I mean the wind could have just picked him up he was he's so small but um yeah luckily my son's okay and there's another broken one that one broke from the top there and fell down so that one will get shook out eventually we can't even reach that if we tried and there's another one in this tree that broke it's just laying across. <sighs> Very upsetting. I love my trees. My husband came just coming home now.
got some new babies on the farm. They're so cute. Little duckies. Two little duckies. They probably don't want you to see them. And two guineas. The guineas are hiding. You guys are silly. You see these two? Do you see these two children? Do you see them, Luna? Yes, you do, huh? Yes, her does. What? What? Sable, get out of there. You see those kids? <laughs>